Hey guys, um, I'm Meg and I run the Pamper Pet Club, which is a dog bandana business. If you've been following along, then you know that I document my journey of setting up the business and how it's going so that if you want to do the same thing, you can follow along and also to kind of just document my process, the process for myself as well. Today I have a few exciting updates. I've got some new packaging to show you guys, which is really exciting. And yeah, let's have a look. Um, so when I started, I didn't have any packaging. I was just literally going to the post offices and buying an envelope every single, like every time I got an order and then writing out a handwritten um, little note to the buyer, just saying thank you for their purchase. The reason I was doing this was obviously I wanted to say thank you, but I didn't want to um, invest in any materials because I didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know if it was going to go well, whether I was going to get any sales. So I didn't want to put loads of money into buying um, like thank you cards and notes and stickers in case it didn't go well. But as if you've been following along, you will know that I have had quite a good first few months, not like anything amazing that I can quit my job, at, like my full-time job and do this full-time, but I feel like it has been quite successful for myself. I've sold um, like coming up on like 20 probably bandanas now which is really exciting. So thank you to all those people that have supported my um, little business, so dream slash goal. Uh, so, okay, right. Anyway, now that it is kind of doing a bit better than it was, I have decided to buy some packaging items and I'm gonna show them to you today. So, firstly, instead of putting stuff in an envelope, I decided to buy some mailboxes mailer boxes, mailer boxes, I don't know what they're called. Um, and they come flat pack like this. I bought 50 of them. Um, I bought the, these from eBay. I think they were, I wanna say about nine pounds for 50, maybe a bit less, I can't remember. I'll put, I'll put um, in the description the link and exactly how much they were. So what you do is you just assemble them. They're really quick to assemble. Just pop them like this. Okay, so it normally doesn't take me that long, but I'm just trying to film it so it's, and normally I'd have it laid flat, which is easier. Um, but this is what it looks like, and then the lid just folds down like that. These two pieces fold in to go to go inside, and then these two bits fold down to secure. At and then that is the mailer box and inside there we have the next thing which is some tissue paper now this is just a scrap because obviously i've like cut them all out to um make the best use of them but what i do is i wrap the bandana in the tissue paper and then the tissue paper with the bandana sits inside the box so that that's nicely secured and then I have some thank you cards. So basically before I was writing down um, this message, um, but instead I have produced this card. So I'm gonna show it to you. There is also a code which anybody who buys from me can use um, to save some money on their um, purchase. And also if you're following along with my journey, then thank you. So I'm gonna show you the code and you can also use it if you want to buy something from my website. <laughs> from my Etsy store, not website. I don't have a website yet. That's further down the line. Um, okay, so here's my thank you card. Um, so it just says, thank you for your purchase. Your support of my small business means the world to me. Please enjoy 10% 10, please enjoy 10 off your next purchase by using the code SAVE10 on that side. Um, and then on this side, it says, let's connect, take a picture and tag us on social media at the Pampered Pet Club. Um, so that's basically like two key messages. This is to promote return purchases. Um, so if they do like my product, then they'll hopefully buy from me again. And here's a little incentive to do that. And then on this side, obviously I want people to tag me on social media with their bandana so that I can see what my product looks like on there. Um, pets and so that I can also share it on my uh, mainly on the pub pet club account and then hopefully other people will be interested in buying my bandanas as well um, and then on the bottom I've just added 
this little small message that says, thank you for shopping small. Every time you buy from a small business, a real person does a little happy dance. And that is so true. Every time I get an order, I'm like, oh, yay. Or I go to Rob and I'm like, I got an order today. It's so exciting. Um, so that is so true if you're buying small. I know it's not just my business as well. So it'd probably be like every person that runs a small business is like, yay, when they get an order. So what I do is I put this card on top of, obviously it's way nicer packed. This is not so. Ah. Right. I put the card on top of the um, bandana in the tissue paper like this. And then, oh no, I don't do that. <laughs> what I do is I stick the um, tissue paper onto the bandana with one of these stickers. They just say, um, thank you for your order. I can't even remember what they said. They say, thank you for your order. Um, and these are from eBay as well. They were £2.50 for the roll. And I think there's like literally so many. I think there's 500 stickers on here. So yeah, they're not customised to my business, but I feel like they're super relevant. Thank you for your order. It's generic. Get them, put them on. It adds a nice touch. So yeah, I seal the um, tissue paper by putting one of these stickers on there so that the bandana doesn't come out of the tissue paper when it's um, in journey, in transit. Then I put the thank you card on top and then I add my business card just in case, you never know, they might be out um, and somebody, well, probably not now because COVID, but they might, sh uh, somebody that they know might see the bandana on their pet and be like, oh my God, where did you get that from? And they can give them this card, which has a QR code that links to my Etsy store. Um, and it also says um, that they can find the shop by scanning this code or, or visit us on social media. And then there's the social media tag. So then I put that one on top of the thank you card like this with the logo this side up. So then when they open the package, boom, they've got the business card followed by the thank you card followed by their package. Um, yeah, so that is it that um in terms of packaging that i've got i did also want to show you quickly um these labels um i'm not a massive fan of them but i'd be keen to get some feedback this is them um it says the pampered pet club and what they do, what you do is like you fold it around and it sits on the bandana like that um i'll show you what it looks like on a bandana so that you can see so this is what it looks like on a bandana. Obviously this one isn't sewn on yet. Um, let me know what you think. I'm not too sure if I like it or, or not yet. I was thinking maybe um, like a circle would be better. The same, the same as this logo, but like almost like a tiny little circle somewhere. But I also do kind of like it, so I'm not sure um, yet, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Give me some feedback um down below i'd love to know cool that is everything that i have to say today um yeah merry christmas everyone um this is christmas eve today so it's exciting but you're probably watching this after christmas anyway but yeah thank you for following along and i will be back soon with more business updates so make sure to subscribe if you want to follow along with my journey